and another glorious Saturday here in UK. What we're gonna do today? Well, let's see. Let's have a, what is that, lottery tonight? Yeah. Can I have one please? Thank you. something very different <laughs> well are you ready mr. Tapper ready yeah oh that was a kill No, they can't. So, ski. Oh. 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 Hey. 
Excellent. Ah. <laughs> oh. So down the line. And that's their rifle field right there. Not into that. I told you we were back. You didn't believe me. Oh! 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 Why is it not clean shot? Why is it not breaking? It's fully. Try my gun. But what? So let's try to dust that number five. Caramba! That is a beautiful gun, sir. Enjoy it. Right, oh, that is that is a lovely, lovely gun. Oh.
So guys, I really hope you enjoyed shooting with Pavel. And what we need to do after every shooting is to get this gun back into a prestige and clean condition. I like cleaning my gun straight after shooting. So it's nice and uh, neat to put it away in the gun cabinet. Then you're done. First of all, I would like to remind you guys, guns are not a joke. Be very, very careful around them. I always make sure there's no one around the area where I work on the gun. I'm in my workshop, there's no one here, the doors are locked. Second of all, you always make sure your gun is empty. I know my gun is empty because I always use the flag. And this is the proper way of uh, behaving with the pump action or auto or semi-auto uh, shotguns. This way people know that you are safe. So, the flag is out. We make sure that the magazine is empty. Nothing in action. We are ready to glean our gun. I do like to use an old towel and I strip the gun on the old towel makes it much easier and also if you get any dirt coming off the gun it stays controlled. So there are two ways of cleaning uh, your pump action or the Mosberg. It's like every day or every time you shoot clean which I'm going to show you now and also a deep clean where you should take the trigger mechanism out, out of the gun and all the components inside get cleaned. If you guys like and if I get any uh, comments on uh, this video of people who want to see the full clean of the gun, I'll make another video. This one here, it's the simple one, the one you should do every time you shoot. So step number one, you take off the cap, the tube cap, and this will allow you to take off the barrel. Step number two, to remove the barrel. The barrel will not just come off. What you need to do is move the fore, fore end forward just slightly. And at this point, the barrel will come right off. So you remove the barrel and you put the rest of the gun safely on the side. Next thing to do is to spray the barrel with a gun cleaner. What I do is, I use an empty box from the cartridges, I got some rags in there. So when I spray the barrels, the liquid drips inside. So the barrels will, will rest in the box just like so. And then I do is I spray up the barrel with a gun cleaner internally. After I spray the barrels, I rest the barrel in the box and up against the shelf or something like that. So the liquid now does its magic. For cleaning of the rest of the gun, I do like to use microfiber cloth. That's the dirty one, the one I use for the first initial clean. So I take a bit of uh, a gun cleaner, spray it on the corner of the rag. And what I start with is cleaning the pin. Just like that, get all the residue off everywhere you can. Quite a lot of it comes off. And now the pin is nice and clean. Then I get around the action, pin all the nasty residue off everywhere I can. Off the body of the gun as well. Just like that. Wipe it off with a clean side of the rag. Then you open the action and you get in there as much as you can and then clean all the residue that you can reach. After you finish that, you take the next rag, which is not sprayed, it's still a bit dirty, but it's not sprayed, and I wipe the rest of it off and I get to the tube clean the tube. The tube normally doesn't have any uh, gunpowder residue on it, so it's quite simple to clean. And that's it. We're done with this part. Let's get back to the barrels. 
So guys, the way I clean the gun is a bit interesting. Uh, if you are interested to see the video of how to clean uh, the over and under uh, shotgun, a classic over and under, I will leave the video in the description below. So you can take a look how I clean my Beretta normally. So traditionally, for cleaning the barrels, you will need a cleaning rod. This is the rod where the cleaning brush will go onto. So you put the rod together. You got different cleaning brushes. One right here for the barrels. You also get a much, much more expensive, more denser uh, barrel brush. This one gets rid of the nasty plastic streaks. I tend to use fiber uh, cartridges in my shotguns uh, lately. Keeps the barrels much cleaner. You'll get, also get a much uh, wider brush. This is to clean the beginning of the barrel where you got your cartridge to come in, right there. This bit there is quite hard to get clean if you're using a smaller brush, so I've got a separate one for it. The traditional way of cleaning the barrels. You take the cleaning rod, you put the brush on the end of it. I like to use a cloth, grab onto the barrels, just like that. Put the brush through the barrels and just go in and out with the brush, trying to loosen up all the debris. And my way of doing this is putting the rod on the drill. Make sure that you use the rod that doesn't have too much bend on it, so it does not hit the barrel when you move it. So what you do now, you take the barrels, you put the brush into the barrel, put this drill on the lowest speed, and while the brush is spinning, you push the rod in, through the barrels, and out. Guys, you can repeat this process as many times as you need to get your barrels nice and clean. Next step is you take the brush of the end of the rod, and you take a normal toilet paper, and you break off about a meter of toilet paper, and you stuff it down the barrels. Some people use a material, a little squares, to clean the, the barrels. Why to waste money on that? Toilet paper is much cheaper. So you stuff the toilet paper into the barrel. You take the rod and you push the paper through the barrel. The squeaky noise is a good sign, meaning that you had the paper nice and tight in the barrels. And as you can see already, the barrels are very nice and shiny. So the way the toilet paper works, it creates like a cylinder inside the barrels and scrapes off all of that gunpowder and lead residue that was collected inside the barrels. I normally do this toilet paper trick but twice per barrel so if, it's my, if it is my Beretta I do it twice because as you can see on the second go you still get a little bit of residue but not as much. When you're done with that you take the dirty rag you still got the gun cleaner right here at the end of the barrels so you use it to clean the rest of the residue off everywhere you can clean the barrels up then what you do is just clean the tip of the barrel because normally residue does collect all the way around here and the last inspection look through your barrels at the light to ensure that you're happy with the cleanliness of the barrels. If you're not, spray it up again, use the brush through it and the toilet paper trick. And that's it. Let's assemble the gun. Assembling the gun 
it's pretty much taking the same steps but backwards. So you take the gun itself, you push the fore end slightly forward. This will allow you to insert the barrels back on the gun. The round bit there goes right over the tube. Barrels go by the action just like so. Align the ring at the front and the action itself and press in. That is done. Pull the fore end back. That locks the barrels in. Now they cannot fall out. Next thing you do, and the last thing to do, is to put the cap back on. Don't rush it. Make sure you case the threads correctly. And make sure it's nice and tight. Normally the good sign to tell it's nice and tight is when the clip for the belt, for the carrier belt, lines up with the barrel. That means you're good to go. Last thing to do is lubricate all the moving parts. Just a quick tip, I bought myself a needle nose dispenser, just like that, they're very cheap, available online, eBay and stuff like that, for a pure reason that you have a very good control of how much oil you put in. The oil in here is just a normal cheap gun oil that you can buy anywhere. There are a couple of areas that you should oil up, so what I do is I close the action and I apply a little bit of oil on the moving parts, especially the ones that have signs of with a bit of a bit of a wear. So any little cracks that you can see that oil could go into, you oil them up, rub them in with the finger. Well, at least that's the way I do it. Make sure you don't have any allergies. This is it. Then you move the action in and out a couple of times, making sure oil got everywhere you wanted to. Turn around, put a bit of oil. On your finger and put a small little film all over the part inside the action just to keep them nice lubricated but very little do not use too much oil on your gun the other two moving parts that I like to put oil onto are the rods that pull in and out when you pull the fore end so what I do is Put a little bit of oil on one, rub it on with my finger, turn the gun around and repeat the process. Very tiny bit of oil and then move the forearm in and out just to make sure that oil got everywhere. The last thing to do is to make sure that the spring in your gun, doesn't matter what gun you're using, is not under constant strain when it is in a gun safe. So what I like to use is a snap caps. I use snap caps in my other guns. This one here is meant for this gun. So it's like a cartridge, but you got a spring in there. So what you do is, you load it up as a normal cartridge. Lock and load. Press the trigger. And now you know that gun is ready to go in the gun cabinet, it's clean and it is safe. Hopefully guys you liked the video, please let me know if you want to see anything else regarding the guns. Thanks so much, stay safe, be smart, always think twice and really be, be very vigilant and always watch other people around you. If you don't make a mistake, they might do. And don't be afraid to tell someone if they're doing something wrong that will save lives. Thank you so much. Till next time.